Hey everyone, today I've got your Jackie movie review. The story of Jackie Kennedy before, during, and after the death of President Kennedy. As far as the story goes, this is a movie that I have been looking forward to seeing because it's already generating a lot of Oscar buzz, especially with Natalie Portman getting a Best Actress nomination. And of course it's a movie that I feel like, you know, is very well done and I was really attracted to it because of the filming style and just to get to know uh, the story of Jackie Kennedy and because we haven't really heard a lot about her and possibly her, you know, her life, her triumphs, her struggles, especially since uh, her husband, who was president, got assassinated and we get to see just what her take on all of this was. I really liked how they delved into it and they really shined a light on who she was as a person so I really feel like that reflected very well on screen. I don't know much about the Kennedys and I'm not hugely into politics but I do like to watch movies that are surrounded about surrounded by politics when they're trying to come up with a story that is based off of true events and you know it really opened my eyes to you know learning a little bit something about the uh, former first lady as far as the casting goes you've got natalie portman who i think uh did a beautiful and genuine portrayal of Jackie Kennedy and I really felt like she gave a powerful yet heart-wrenching performance. I was really moved by her interpretation of this character, seeing how much she had gone through and how much she had to deal with and put up with and yet she still had to have a, a, a grace about her and uh, she was a very strong-willed person so I really loved how you got to see every single side of who she was as a character, as a person, and I thought it was very well done and uh, I think more recognition of uh, this role is definitely well deserved. You have other uh, great performances in this movie, definitely a great cast. You've got uh, Peter Sarsgaard who plays Bobby Kennedy, aka uh, John F. Kennedy's younger brother, and I like to see how his relationship with his sister-in-law was and, you know, what he's doing in politics and how he fits into all of this. But then you've also got you know, Billy Crudup, who plays this journalist who we get to see a few times throughout the film interviewing uh, Jackie Kennedy and seeing, you know, like, and he's trying to understand more of what, you know, was going on here and like what her life was like with John F. Kennedy. So I really like that they also shine a light on that as well. And then you've also got John Carl Lynch who plays uh, Lyndon B. Johnson, who was the uh, next president to step in after uh, John F. Kennedy, so I thought his role was also very well done, and it's also sad to say that even though this was a very small role, John Hurt, who played this priest who had a few conversations with uh, Natalie Portman's character, and, you know, sadly he passed away, but it was really good to see him uh, sort of be this, uh, you know, guiding force to her. The things that I liked about this movie, I really loved the excellent cinematography. I thought this movie was very uh, beautifully shot. Every intricate moment was also very intimate with the characters and it looked very authentic and just detailed down to a T as far as the production design goes and I was just loving 
everything that went on in that when you had a few scenes with like music playing uh, and s the characters watching a musical musical performance it felt very historic and I felt like this was a very well paced film and I thought it was going to be much longer but you know it was shorter than I expected and you know that's good enough for me. I wouldn't say that this was something I was confused about but I actually loved the fact that they brought up, you know, these uh, Camelot, uh, you know, John F. Kennedy uh, comparisons and just talking about that kind of storyline. And I was thinking, well, is Camelot basically, uh, you know, John F. Kennedy's uh, Washington, D.C., his presidency, and he's King Arthur? And I, I kind of interpreted it that way so I don't know if that's exactly true. I still found this movie to be uh, quite enjoyable but I'm not sure if it would be for everyone because you might find it to be slow at times. Overall I would say that Jackie was a very well done film. I really love the acting and the storyline getting to know uh, more about this uh, you know woman who was you know a vital uh, person in our history. So I would highly recommend seeing this movie. I think it is just a beautiful film altogether. So I would give this five hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Jackie. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, coming every week for a trail Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later.